guys and welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Dikan aka Dikoko and I film skincare content beauty content wellness content and also lifestyle content so if that is something that you'd be interested in please make sure that you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on for whenever I post a video and if you're a returning subscriber hey darling welcome back to my channel always excited to have you and without further ado let's get into the agenda for today so in today's video we're discussing skin repairing basically repairing damaged skin and I have shared a video like this before on this channel but this is just to add to that video and in this one I'll be sharing some skin repairing um, you know ingredients and also products with you and how to go about your skin repairing journey now the only reason why you're repairing your skin is because your skin barrier has been damaged now there's a couple of ways on how a damaged skin barrier shows up one of the ways is blemishes basically caused by clogged pores where you have the hairs under your skin or the hairs that are supposed to pop out of your pores actually clogged in into your pore thereby causing some form of you know irritation on your skin which then shows forth as blemishes on the skin another way that um, a damaged skin barrier could pop up could be pigmentation and that's basically the formation of you know excess melanin in a certain area of your skin or a certain region and another way that damaged skin barrier shows up is through scarring and when it comes to scarring scarring is usually a reminder of what our skin has been through it could be scarring from like acne scarring from the previous pimples or acne that you've had on your skin and maybe enlarged pores or anything like that so that is a way that a damaged skin barrier could show up as scarring now the last way that i want to share that a damaged skin barrier could pop up is inflammation inflammation is basically an irritation on the skin usually caused by product it could be the product type that you're using or an allergy to an ingredient in the product if you're using a harsh product on your skin a way that it could damage your skin barrier could come off as inflammation inflammation shows up in different ways like i mentioned it could show up as an allergy and irritation on the skin it also could show up as redness or you know itchiness and all of that on your skin so that would be when your skin has been inflamed i've mentioned four so far which is blemishes scarring pigmentation and also i think inflammation inflammation now these are ways that a damaged skin barrier could show up and these are like the symptoms that you face um, depending on which that you're you know facing at the moment now when it comes to treating a damaged skin barrier what you want to focus on is ingredients what can actually treat a damaged skin barrier now there is always a bandwagon in the skincare society oh we are using medics 5.5 today everybody runs there oh we're using amlactin today and then everybody runs down there and in most cases we don't sit to know what we are actually treating we just run to different products without considering our own skin concerns there are specifics to treating a damaged skin barrier now like I mentioned the things that have already caused your skin to be damaged you would need to focus on ingredients that would nurture your skin back to health a damaged skin barrier would mean that your skin is in an unhealthy position so what you're trying to do is bring it back to health okay now when it comes to treatment one of the ingredients that i would definitely recommend for treating a damaged skin barrier and this is for good reasons not to join the bandwagon is niacinamide and why because niacinamide is a gentle antioxidant that helps the skin helps to nurture the skin and works well with a lot of other ingredients it is an active that would help the surface of your skin to heal itself and as well as a very patient active that actually does the job the product that contains niacinamide that i would recommend in this video is the good molecules niacinamide serum and also the good molecules brightening niacinamide um toner now you can include any of this in your routine to you know better help the health of your skin while treating your skin so you could include it in form of a toner or you could include it in form of a serum like i have just mentioned another nurturing ingredient that would help bring back the health of your skin that would help the surface of your skin is snail mousin i know snail mousin has also been popular in recent times and it is for good reasons is because it's a very nurturing plumping and hydrating ingredient that would really really help the health of your skin why an ingredient like this would work is because it would last on the surface of your skin it brings in moisture it brings in hydration to your skin now once you're trying to treat your skin you need a lot of moisture and hydration on your skin why because your skin barrier is exposed and damaged so you constantly need to protect it with nurturing ingredients that are you know powerful enough and potent enough 
to stay on your skin for a long period of time so snail mucin is great for that and that could be found in a product like the Cosrx snail mucin essence toner i'm going to pop up a picture on the screen now there's people that that product actually does not react well to and it could be an allergy to the ingredient or anything a product that i always like to recommend to replace the snail mucin toner is a supple preparation toner by the brand Claire's, and i'm going to put it on the screen so yeah that's also a great you know um hydrating toner that you can add to your skincare regimen to help with the health of your skin in your repairing journey another ingredient that is fantastic in repairing your skin barrier is centella acetica i think that's how it's pronounced this is a great ingredient for repairing your skin barrier now i'll tell you why that is because i've used this particular ingredient in a product from um, i think skin 10 or 1004 or something like that i'm going to pop up a picture on the screen and once i started using that you know ampoule it's called ampoule and it's like a serum like a lightweight serum on my skin i absolutely saw the difference on how my skin was feeling at this point i had somehow over exfoliated my skin yes there's something like ex over exfoliating your skin i had a little bit of an irritation on my skin due to exfoliation so i started using this product and i absolutely love the result that i got on my skin it is so gentle on the skin it would help to pamper and just bring back that health and life back into your skin so that is a product to definitely consider and how centella acetic hair works is that it helps in soothing your skin that would mean that it nurtures inflammation on the skin so yeah that is a great ingredient to include in your regimen if you're treating a damaged skin barrier another ingredient to consider when you're treating um, a damaged skin barrier is hyaluronic acid and that is because it has great plumping properties it would help in plumping your skin back most times when your skin barrier is damaged that would mean that your skin is bare and has been taken from the surface so you want to build back the surface of your skin with a nurturing ingredient or a nurturing humectant like hyaluronic acid when it comes to hyaluronic acid you can use it in form of a toner or a serum it really depends on your preference but i absolutely like getting like a big bottle of hyaluronic acid you know um toner um, I've used one from Jumiso. I've also used the other one from I think Isn't Tree. So yeah, these are two great options for you know introducing hyaluronic acid into your regimen. But definitely make sure to look into including a plumping humectant like this to get the health of your skin back. Another ingredient to consider is Sika, and a great product that contains this ingredient and is very very popular and actually works. It's popular for good reasons. Is the Larish Posay Sika Plus. Um, balm or you know face cream there's a face gel there's a face balm so it really depends on which one you get your hands on for me i love the balm because it is highly highly nurturing moisturizing repairing refreshing i love that moisturizer so much it is a treatment moisturizer for treating you know inflamed damaged skin this is why the moisturizer was made in the first place but it is a thick moisturizer so i'll end up using it at night because i am oily skin but the results that i get after using this moisturizer is usually superb i wake up in the morning to baby smooth dazzling skin i absolutely love that product anytime my skin is inflamed that's the product i always run to and in this skincare journey thing you never know when an inflamed skin will pop up any product could react on your skin and with people like us that are like lab rats we're always using products so we can talk to you guys like this um you know you have to have a product like sika plus on your hand so yeah that's definitely a product that works well in repairing damaged skin so if you're oily or combination skin like me you could keep it to towards your night routine but if you have dry skin normal skin you can definitely use it at day what i love about this particular product is that when you use it on your skin you see the result at first it could be a reaction your skin getting you know that kind of double moisture on your skin sometimes it might not be such a great experience for your skin especially if you're used to using like lightweight moisturizer but if you give it time you get good amazing results with using this type of product so yeah using a product like Sika, um using an ingredient like Sika is great for you know um, helping your damaged skin barrier and how Sika helps the skin is that it helps in promoting collagen production Production on the skin and also elastin production on the skin which helps to just plump your skin and bring it back to life next ingredient that I want to talk about is ceramides ceramides are great for plumping the skin nurturing your skin repairing the surface of your skin as well as keeping it very firm and you know healthy now ceramides are usually found 
in products that are for like older people that is not to say that products for younger people don't have them but it is because it is concentrated in products that are targeted at um, you know older skin or advanced skin because it is a skin firming product it brings that firm it brings that bounce back into the skin a great product that contains ceramides for everyday use could be the CeraVe um, moisturizer which everybody loves there's a face moisturizer for that and um, there's a one that comes in a big bottle that can be used for the entire body as well so depending on what you're trying to do or what you can afford or what you can get your hands on the CeraVe gentle moisturizer is a great um, source of ceramides to add to your skin repairing journey another ingredient that I would definitely recommend for this journey is is oatmeal this is because oatmeal has a very gentle and soothing you know property for the skin it is used in repairing skin you know um, oatmeal is great for eczema and you know and dry skin especially and most times when your skin is inflamed it tends to flake and this is when you need something highly moisturizing or nurturing or caring like oatmeal a great source of adding oatmeal to your skincare regimen is the Avino oatmeal range and I think they have a charger they have a moisturizer and they also have a body oil so I'm going to pop up a picture on the screen so you see including oatmeal or a product that contains oatmeal in your skincare regimen will highly help and be beneficial to the health of your skin now in the beginning I mentioned different ways that um, a damaged skin barrier shows up which is blemishes pigmentation scarring and also inflammation now as you could remember in the beginning of the video I told you you know the causes of this but I would generally tell you that one major thing that can cause the whole four of these to happen to your skin is excessive exposure to Sun and what's off if you're excessively um, exposed to the Sun and you're not protecting your skin with sunscreen so yeah sunscreen is a great part of repairing your skin barrier there's literally no repairing your skin without using sunscreen basically I said there is no skincare without sunscreen sunscreen will greatly benefit you if you are in the process of taking care of your skin whether you're a beginner whether you are you know at whichever point you are in your skincare journey and if you are intermediate or far off in the journey then you should definitely know the use of sunscreen um, a great sunscreen that I would recommend is the Hatsumigo I think that's what it's called it's um, an Asian brand and why I'm recommending this sunscreen is because it comes in a reasonable size amount I just recently um, added it to my um, what's it called my beauty stash and I'm absolutely enjoying this sunscreen the only thing is that it will sting your eyes more but there's nothing we can bear for beauty <laughs> but yeah it is a great sunscreen for both face and body which is why I absolutely love this sunscreen now I don't think I mentioned a cleanser so far especially for the face um, when you're skin repairing you want to stay gentle with your cleanser you don't want to use anything that is too harsh you know contains an ingredient that might further make your skin inflamed this is why I say that you should know your ingredients why because you could be using the right ingredient for the wrong reasons and then you could end up doing another thing entirely to your skin and that is not what we're trying to do so yeah um, a great cleanser that I'll recommend is the I think Cosmex Low Good Morning Low pH um, cleanser. I'm going to pop up on the screen so you see that's a great cleanser for the face and for the body. You could just go with a gentle shower gel like the Dove one that I've recommended a couple times on this channel. You could still use the oatmeal shower gel from the Avino range. I mean, there's a lot of gentle, you know, nurturing, moisturizing shower gels or bed product that you can actually use on your skin that would not further more inflame your skin. So yeah, that's about it. For this video the take home here is to make sure that you're using the right ingredients for treating this process add this you can have a range of products but make sure that if you're in the process of repairing your skin and I mean generally this type of products should be in your skincare stash why because like I said there are moments where your skin will just be inflamed and you just need to calm things down with like products like this so yeah involving them in your skincare regimen will greatly be beneficial for your skin and you would absolutely thank yourself for taking that decision to actually add this product and that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed by now i wonder what you're doing please make sure that you're subscribed smash the notification bell so you're notified every single time that i post a video thank you so much for watching and as usual i wish you a beautiful perfect and luscious skin and i'll see you in my next one Mwah.